Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple custom on this vehicles, which is pretty cool. Now, we have a couple on this vehicles in online right now. Uh, probably the most famous one is the RE7B supercar, but we also have the LG RH8, which is pretty cool based off of the Nissan GTR. So we have a fair number of those vehicles in the game, but today we're going to be looking at some more custom new ones. So the first one we're going to be looking at today is the Anis Hizoku. And the Hizoku is apparently Japan's idea of a heavy-duty workhorse turned into the ultimate car for hipster weeboos desperate enough to disappoint their parents as much as possible. So it's a rugged, reliable mini truck that's apparently in the sports car category. So it's like a truck sports car. I'm not sure. There's two versions of this car. We have the normal one and the custom one. So taking a look, this is the normal one right here. So there is a couple extra things we can do to this vehicle, including changing the paint. You can see the paint not only modifies the exterior, but it also changes is the accent color on the inside. That's pretty cool. And then there's four extras that we can apply to this, including one which covers up the bed of the truck, another one which is a roll cage for the bed of the truck. The third one is a front license plate, and I'm not sure what the 11th one does. They're the last one. It probably does something on the inside that I honestly can't really see. So that's the normal normal one right there. It doesn't have any extra liveries or customizations because it is the normal one. But you can see just how kind of sporty this truck is. It literally looks like uh, it was a sports car that was turned into sort of a truck, which I actually think is kind of unique and is certainly kind of cool. So that right there is the regular version. Now let's take a look at the custom version. And right off the start, you can tell that this is definitely more customized. It has a, a wide body finish. It has a you know sunscreen on there. It has you know racing style seats. And there's a bunch of other things we can do to this vehicle too. We have the exact same extras that were actually applied to the normal one where we have the bed cover, we have the roll cage, the front facing license plate, and then the mystery extra one, which I have absolutely no idea what that does. Trust me, I looked inside and outside of the car, couldn't find anything about it. This one by default also has an extended bumper. It has a missing left front uh, light. I'm not sure if that's done on purpose. So the custom one, Obviously, way more customized as a unique grill too. But let's get into what makes this vehicle special, and that is the unique liveries. So jumping into the liveries, the first three are exactly the same. They just have different color schemes. The first one is Benny's Gold. Now, I'm actually a big fan of this. It has Benny sponsorships all over the place, on the front, on the side. It has LTD uh, written on the side too. A bunch of other sponsorships for the cars. And it has this singular sort of curved flame on the side. And that's where we see the gold color take into effect. So that, of course, is Benny's Gold. The next one is Benny's White which once again is the exact same thing. It has that yellow sun strip at the top. It has the white flame on the side now. So again, exact same styling. It's got support, violent driving, and bigness written on the side, which is kind of cool too. And then of course, if it wasn't obvious enough already, Benny's black is literally the exact same thing. Unfortunately, the car color that I had was black, but that's actually a cool way in which you can create a uniquer looking livery. For example, let's say you don't love the flame, but you still want some of the other sponsorships on there. Well, that's something you can do. Change the color to black or white and kind of match it up that way. After that, we have number nine. Number nine is kind of interesting too. It is this uh, nine written on the side. It's kind of got this gradient stripe on the door panel too. It turns the hood and the wheel arches black. There's some Japanese writing on the sunscreen and underneath the livery too. So that's kind of cool. The next one we have is Retro Racer number one, which adds some pretty cool sponsorships like Fujiwara, uh, a bunch of other ones, Fukuru as well. Uh, it's basically a 15 in a circle with some design around it, which is kind of unique, some sponsorships that occur on the back and on the front too. The next one, Retro Racer 2, very, very similar design. It changes up the pattern of where the stripes are and everything. And instead of a 15, it is a five. And then, of course, the final one, which I actually think is really cool, is Zancudo Special, which basically turns this thing into like a military version, and you've got like the Zancudo Star written on there. So that's pretty cool if you wanted a military variant. So those are two pretty awesome custom Anis sports trucks. I think those are incredibly cool. The custom variant is amazing. I love the unique liveries. I think those are incredibly awesome right there. So that would be awesome to have something like that in GET Online because we really don't. It's a really unique car. You have trucks, you have off-road, then you have sports cars. We've never had a sort of combination of all three of those things. So that would be awesome. 
And once again, that is the Anis Hizuku. So hopefully you guys did enjoy those custom Anis vehicles. Let's move on to the next one. And that is the Anis Euros. That's right. That's the actual name for this car, the Anis Euros. So the description for this car is for the 90s man having a midlife crisis who couldn't dare to be seen in something as brash as a Corvette. The Anis Euros, a sleek, stylish, modern body fitted into a 15-year-old chassis and given a twin turbo V6, making it twice as much torque as said chassis was ever built to cope with. So the Euros is a pretty simple car, as you can see right here. I've got it compared to the uh, one of the other Anis vehicles in the game, the LG Retro Custom, which I think it looks most similar to. Now, unfortunately, there is no customization for this vehicle. Apparently, the creator of this car wanted to keep it as simple as possible. You can see it's really beautiful, the etching and the styling of it, but no customization. We do get two liveries with this vehicle, though, that I think are pretty cool. The first one is Animo R-Tune, which adds a red and black stripe on the side of the car and a red, black, and white checker pattern on the back and on the hood too. And you can also see some markings on the back Animo as well. So that right there is the first one. It looks really good in sort of a grayish silver. And the second one is yours custom. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent, but there's a dark gray and blue gradient line going on the side. Yours liveries and sponsorships written all over the car in dark blue. So this one's pretty cool too. I couldn't really find a great color to go with this so I ended up just going with black I'm sure you guys can find some better examples though but that is the Anis Euros like I said this would have been cool if it had some customization options like some bumpers some exhaust maybe a spoiler here and there but at the end of the day it's really cool and it's a nice custom car and I think it would be really awesome to have it online whether it's a coupe or a sports car I'm really not too sure but at the end of the day it's a slick looking vehicle and I see this having a lot of potential so that's really cool right there and that is the second custom Anis vehicle that we're going to be taking a look at today the third custom one is actually a police variant of the LG Retro Custom. So there's no customization for this and I wanted to make it nighttime so I could show off the sirens and the lights, but this is so cool. So a couple videos back, we talked about a police style update, what sort of cars we would love to see. Well, add this one to the list, the LG Retro Custom Police car. You can see it's got this two-tone, black on the bottom, white on top with the call 911 written on the side, the Japanese police liveries and stuff like that. So this would be incredibly cool. It's kind of giving me like a Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift sort of vibe. So this would be so awesome if once again we were to get a police style DLC into the game to be able to add a vehicle like this to our arsenal to be able to drive around and have a lot of fun with. So that right there is the LG Retro Custom Police variant. And the final thing we need to look at today is actually three retro liveries for the LG Retro Custom. So if you played GTA San Andreas and you took a vehicle to Wheel Arch Angels or something like that, you might recognize these three liveries. So the names are not gonna be correct, but the liveries are. And you can see this first one right here is the Access livery with kind of like the Nintendo 64 game controller buttons on there. So that's pretty awesome. It's got this kind of deep orange and yellow gradient on there. So that's pretty awesome. The second one is the X-Flow one with these kind of squares that get larger as they go from the back to the front. That one's pretty cool as well. And then the final one is the alien one. So the alien one has these like black flames coming from the sides and from the wheel arches as well and also on the roof. And this is the one that I decided to go with and I went with a black paint job. Actually looks pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And we got those gold wheels on there that look really cool. But anyways, those are the custom Anis vehicles that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. This is another car brand in Grand Theft Auto V that doesn't get a whole lot of love. Like I said, we have the famous supercar, the RE7B. We have the free sports car, the LG RH8, and then the retro custom. But other than that, I don't think there's another vehicle from a NIS in the game, which would make it another great brand to get some extremely cool vehicles like the ones we looked at today. But anyways, that's all I'm going to be showing off in this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Well, out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.